Listen, no, no, no. Well, I've been looking forward to this one, haven't I? Today, it's Charlton at home. When we played Charlton early on the season, they beat us 3-0 at their place. They absolutely smashed us. Scored a great third goal from, I think it was Conor Gallagher, the Chelsea loanee for them. Great goal. We lost 3-0, standard London away day for us this season. But today, we sit 20th in the league, six points off the drop. Charlton sit a point above us in 18th place. A win today and we could go above Charlton. Uh, put us nine points clear of the drop, which is much needed because we're, oh, we're very close to it and our form suggests that we could be dropping even further down. Our last game, we drew to Wigan 1-1 who are now bottom of the league. We scored a last-minute equaliser. You could maybe even say it was an own goal. So is today going to be great? Probably not. Are we going to see an entertaining game of end-to-end -end attacking football? Probably not. But, you know, we just need results now. Keep that gap between us and the relegation zone as big as possible because we're just not getting as many results as what we'd like. Against Charlton today, I'll give you my score prediction. A positive 2-1 win, but that's being hopeful. Judged on our last performance away at Wigan, 1-1 one, one draw, if that. But hopefully not. Hopefully... It's a bit better, a bit of limbs. Charlton fans, hopefully they bring a few since it's a night game. But then again, how are they going to get back to London? It's on TV, that's why it's on tonight and not yesterday. Come on, you Rams. Right, Alex. Score prediction Score today. Score prediction for today. I'm going to go for a 1-0 defeat. I just don't think, even though they've got Marriott in the side, that <laughs> could go forward. <laughs> I'm going to say a 1-0 defeat though, but hopefully not, because we really need to win. Right, so go, on you, Rams. go on you Right, Daniel, score prediction today? Uh, I think we'll scrape a 1-0 win, we might in Wagon getting it. Right, go on you Rams. Derby County team is there, Jack Marriott starts in a 4-3-3 formation with Wagon out on the right, and also Dwayne Holmes on the left, Max Burton, Jason Knight in midfield as well, pretty interesting there, youthful side but good formation, thank God Jack Marriott starting up front. <clears throat> Charlton teams there, they're playing five at the back, flat five at the back, Macaulay Ball up front who scored against us for the first goal at Charlton and also Lyle Taylor's on the bench, dangerous striker. Oh! I think it might have been Jack Marion, Max Bird just played a lovely ball through to Martin Waghorn who hits it, good save by Dillian Phillips but it's got to be a goal there. What a chance, about 20 seconds in. Jason Knight for Derby County, his first goal for us, the youngster, bit of match scramble, but it goes a goal early on here, 10 minutes in, very good start from us, 1-0 up, two red cards in three games for Derby, Christian Bielik just been sent off, it was a silly challenge from Bielik, I think he took out Conor Gallagher and made the most of it, but it was a silly late challenge, and yeah, it probably does warrant a red, down to 10 men now, 15 minutes gone. So I didn't get a chance to record a half-time thing, so I'm going to do it now. In the first half, played quite well with 10 men, considering that Charlton, they're above us in the league. We actually played quite well, we created a lot of chances and it was quite decent for us. And Obviously, Jason Knight took his goal, a bit of a scrappy one, but they all count, don't they? Put us 1-0 up, Bielik got sent off, it was a silly challenge from Bielik and it deserved the red. But we did well, we sat back a little bit after Bielik sent it off. I think we're just a little bit concerned, trying to get it to half-time and see what we can do then. That's what's matter, it's there to do, make those runs and force them saves from Phillips and made a lovely run to the right of Max Bird, good save down low. We've played better when we've only had 10 men in the Reading game and this one, but not to speak too soon, we're only 1-0 up, but 
they've looked decent coming forward, trying to look into all the ball and to all the ball they play a high line when they do get hold of the ball. Fantastic bit of defending there, brilliant run by Dwayne Holmes, but brilliant bit of defending by the Charlton man. Jason Knight with his second goal of the game, a brace, his second goal for Derby. Brilliant ball in. Jason Knight, nobody marking him. Good finish back across goal. Brilliant. Jason Knight, Knight, Knight. Jason Knight, Knight, Knight. Jason Knight, Knight, Knight. Jason Knight, Knight, Conor Gallagher got absolutely clattered in the box where it looked like it from here. Penalty to Charlton. Lyle Taylor will take it away. Way back in for Charlton now, 82nd minute. Got to be careful. Fucking knobhead. Lyle Taylor does his classic slow walk up work, sends Hamer to the left. Lyle Taylor goes down in the bottom right. Ben Hamer with two fantastic saves. One down low to his bottom left, definitely going in, but he palms it away. Lyle Taylor's on the rebound, but he makes himself big and saves it. Two fantastic saves. Come on, come on, come on, come on, 19! Have it, have it on your own. time Derby County 2 Charlton Athletic 1 well I wasn't expecting that a really entertaining game and I'd go as far to say it's our best performance of the season so far just because it was a complete performance and like I said at half time we played better with 10 men than we have done with 11 on the pitch at Reading I said we played well and I praised the performance and once again today I'm going to praise the performance every player on that pitch clicked today and played well and put in a good performance Jack Marriott in that 4-3-3 worked really well Martin Waggon Max Lowe in that first half was absolutely unplayable at left back Dwayne Holmes throughout the game was creating chances and that's what happens when we create chances we won the game and it shows there today mentioned to Jason Knight deserved man the match <laughs> took his two goals the first one bit of a scramble in the box but it doesn't matter he got the goal put us ahead much needed early start for us Bielik gets sent off, silly challenge from him, he was silly at Wigan and he's been punished for it today and that's the reason he got took off in the first half against Wigan. And then in the second half, lovely ball in, Jason Knight, nobody's marking him, lovely, calm and collective finish into the bottom right corner, across the goal, great celebrations, 2-0, give away a penalty, Conor Gallagher, you know the fans were on his back throughout the whole game but he kept going. He, wasn't, he didn't have a great game today. I was expecting a little bit better from him. I thought he was really good when we played them at Charlton, but he wasn't really on it today. But he got the penalty. He looks like he got absolutely clattered from my end of the pitch. But obviously, I'm at the other end. And then Lyle Taylor, he's not going to miss, is he? He's a quality striker in this division, one of the best that there is in this league. And he takes his penalty, does the classic slow run-up, sends Hamer the wrong way, but we held on. And we even had a little counter-attack at the end there. But a 2-1 win, a much-needed victory. I think we haven't won in like seven games. It's been over a month since we last won. Fantastic for us. We move on to Barnsley now. The return of Wayne Rooney. It's the end of a decade, but Rooney's coming back. Come on, you Rams.